Hello everyone, Tychation here, and today I'll be showing you how to download, install, and configure Tortoise SVN for Windows. I'll start out by searching for Tortoise SVN on Google, choosing the first link, which is tortoisesvn.tigris.org, clicking on Download, and then scrolling down. Uh, if you don't know which type of computer you have, try the 32-bit application first. And you might need to click on Direct Link to get the download to start. But after you have the file downloaded, run it, and click Next, accept, accept the license agreement, click Next a few more times, and then Install. And that's it for installing. Click on Finish, and Yes to reboot the computer. And after the computer reboots, I'm going to enable the auto-enable the Needs Lock property, and what this will do is it will force you to lock a file before you can edit it and that'll stop someone else from coming along and making a change to the file while you're making yours because then you would uh, upload your file and accidentally overwrite their change so to enable this right click on the desktop choose tortoise SVN and then settings click on edit and then scroll down to the very bottom of this text file and find the line that says enables auto props equals yes and delete the hash mark from the start of that line. This is just a uncommenting that command, basically turning it on. Then go down to the bottom of the text file and type in star dot star equals svn colon needs dash lock, exactly like that. And then save the file. Close notepad. And that's it. The needs lock property is now auto enabled. And the other configuration option that I suggest using is uh, setting up the context menu here. Just uh, scroll down, and there's a few commands that you can, the most often used commands, you can have uh, show up on your main context menu so you don't need to go into the Tortoise SVN submenu, which can be rather daunting at first. And I suggest turning on rename, delete, get lock, and release lock. And OK. And that's it for configuring Tortoise SVN. You should now be ready for the basics of Tortoise video that I have up. And if you don't have an SVN yet, I'll have another video online shortly which will show how to use myversioncontrol.com. And uh, hopefully that'll get you started.